Hi, talking about crocodiles today. You know, guys, even though crocs are big animals, stories about their size are often exaggerated. Still, there are many crocodiles, both in the wild and in captivity, that are really enormous. So why don't we stick to the facts and check out some really big ones? This is gonna be very interesting, so don't go anywhere, guys, and let's start. Yutan is a kind of a hybrid of a crocodile. They keep it in Alligator Adventure Park in South Carolina in the US. They say it's the biggest crocodile in captivity in the United States. On the website, Alligator Adventure says that it weighs 200 pounds and that it's 18 foot long. Yutan was actually born in captivity and spent most of its life on a farm somewhat 12 miles away from Bangkok where he was very popular among tourists. The crocodile was named after the farm's owner's son. Locals from the small village in Sri Lanka were forced to deal with a very difficult situation. A huge crocodile got trapped and had to be taken care of. This giant reptile is 15 foot long and weighs over a ton. It got stuck in the canal and it made a lot of people put a lot of time and effort to get the crocodile away from trouble. People say that it's because of heavy rain the reptile ended up in the canal where it got stuck. So they took it out and then they tried to put it in the deep river, although it turned out to be a very difficult task to manage. What made things even more difficult is the fact that the crocodile lacked one limb possibly a birth defect. Luckily, there was an excavator nearby, and with its help they actually managed to help the poor clumsy creature. By the way, Sri Lanka is well known for its national parks where you can find a lot of big crocodiles. In 2011, they caught a really big one on Philippines, and it was massive. 20 foot 3 inches, weighted a ton, is the biggest sea crocodile ever caught alive and kept in captivity. It took a lot of man and effort to catch Lolong. That's how they call this giant reptile. They try to catch it many times, but every time it just escaped somehow. Once it was finally caught, it took 100 people to get it out on the shore to tie it up tight. Some say it was over 50 years old when they caught it. They used some thick ropes to hold it, and it actually looks pretty calm. One of the guys even risked his life and touched its nose. But then the crocodile started to act all rough and tough. It broke the cart and loosened the grip. But then it got tired and calmed down after a while. Sadly, Lolong died in February in 2013 after spending about two years in captivity. Perhaps it would live much longer if it was never caught by humans. But that doesn't matter now. A lot of people think that golf is a boring game, although some people think different. Well, either way, looking at this footage you feel like you're watching real live Jurassic Park documentary. So this 16 foot long alligator came out on Buffalo Creek Golf Course in Florida. The video footage belongs to a 56 year old Charles Helms. Charles said this wasn't the first time he saw an alligator on the golf field. When asked about how come he didn't put a brick in his pants while standing close to the reptile, Charles said that alligators only attack people when they get on their nerves. As a matter of fact, Charles first thought it was some kind of trick. As it later turned out, the alligator lives nearby and it's kind of a mascot for the field. After Lolong passed away, Cassius officially entered the book of records as the biggest crocodile alive in captivity. You may not believe this, but this guy is over 110 years old. He's 18 foot long and weighs over 2200 pounds. This giant was caught about 30 years ago in Australia. It scared the hell out of locals, attacking their boats. And so it was decided to move it to Green Island Farm in Marine Land in Queensland. 
Cassius is scary and gigantic. It lost its limb after countless battles with other savage animals in the wild, but it seems like he can deal without it quite well. So now Cassius lives quite a peaceful life on the farm. He's got good company of female crocodiles, and he feels good and calm. Although his mood changes constantly, Cassius is very clever and sneaky. He's got this thing when he makes you feel like everything is okay, and then all of a sudden he can attack you when you least expect it. This video was recorded in Papua New Guinea, and one of the local zoos. They like showing tourists how they feed giant crocodiles. You just take a look at this beastly monster crawling for his dinner. The zookeeper guy must be very brave. First he sat on it, and then he gave it a kiss. Seems like this crocodile could easily swallow the guy, but I guess they feed him well. Actually, I'm pretty sure they do. Look how fat he is. Depending on who you ask, Africa is a very dangerous place to stay. Sometimes it makes you feel like there are wild animals all over the place. Like there are lions, crocodiles, and all kinds of dangerous snakes. The Burundi region is quite possibly one of the most dangerous ones. Not only do they have all those scary things, but they also have Gustave, the frightening giant crocodile. If you don't believe in demons, then is a good proof that they actually exist. Gustave is over 65 years old, and it's much larger than other species of its kind. He's a 20 foot long Nile crocodile. It's got many ugly scars that indicate that he's been under a lot of pressure in his days. People have been trying to hunt him down for a long time. It's just that nobody could ever catch it. Gustave doesn't care about the hunters, he's too tough for them anyways. No matter how hard they try to catch him, they can't do it. According to some rumors, over the course of his life, Gustave killed about 400 people, and oftentimes he would just kill for fun, showing his dominance over humans. He rarely ate people. He would occasionally grab a bite or two, but generally he's not considered a man-eater. There was time in his life when he would attack five or six men, killing all of them. And of course, he didn't even try to eat his prey. There was simply no need for that. Maybe he just wanted to seem like a merciless killer to people. Who knows what goes through a crocodile's head, right? The majority of Nile crocodiles that were born over the same period of time with Gustave were killed by pot hunters but they could never really lay their hands on Gustave. It just kept on living in the waters of Ruzizi, frightening locals with the bare fact of his existence. There's a film called Capturing the Killer Croc, where Patrice Faye, along with a bunch of scientists, is trying to catch Gustave, spending two years gathering information about it. They build a very large, special kind of cage where they put a bay to attract Gustave. But even though they managed to catch the monster, Gustave took the bait, ate it, and smashed the three-tongue cage and got out like a winner. Because Gustave was so massive, he never hunted birds, fish, or antelopes. Those were simply too fast for him. And so, he was forced to feed on hippos, buffaloes, and sometimes humans. Usually, crocodiles never hunt hippos since they know very well that a fully grown hippo can smash and tear into pieces an average crocodile. But as we know, there's always exceptions from the rule. In this case, it's Gustave, the legendary killer. This reptile killed a whole bunch of hippos in his days. They made him a star of a film called Primeval, a documentary about a crew from the US that goes to African jungle in order to make a movie about their search for the legendary crocodile. And the fun part is that they had no idea about the kind of primordial evil they'd have to deal with. Last time Gustave was spotted when he took down a big buffalo in 2015. Ever since then, no one heard anything about him. 
There's a possibility that he's no longer alive, but that seems unlikely because Nile crocodiles can live up to 100 years, and since Gustavo is such an extraordinary exception, perhaps it will show itself to us sometime again in the future. Alright guys, that's all for now. Tell me if you know anything about any gigantic crocodiles. Subscribe to Real Bizarre, press thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you for watching and we'll see you later.